the Bally Brit Novices Chase is next. This is another two mile up. Went over the larger obstacles this time, and Cabo Valdolo of the top four, Darren Thompson, Chris for David Hooley, Phil and Tricker, David Robertson, Savage Garden, or Graham Clitterbuck, Phoenix Flames, Paul Rhodes, Scottsdale Lady, Vinnie Gerrard, and the roadmap for Joshua Sutherland. So seven of them then this time. Call in and away. Away towards the first end with the roadmap, and Crisp disputing the lead. Phil and Tricker was on the outside of those in third. The widest on the track is Phoenix Flames. And they're quite well, tightly bunched as they make their way towards the first of nine fences that they've got to negotiate in this one. And the road map they're trying to give a quick double to Joshua Sullivan leads by two. And Phil and Tricker in the turquoise and purple hoops. They get to the first. Well, they're all safe now. That one all jumped it. Really well, in fact, it's a very short run to the second. And that time it wasn't such a good jump by Phil and Tricker. And David Robertson's had a really good start to the season, but he's not going to win this one. That's Phil and Tricker. He's an early departee. And the road map is in the lead. Leading by three. To Crispin second. And Cabo. Valdama on its inside is third. And Phoenix Flames is back in fourth, and Scottsdale Lady and Savage Garden are the back two, so they're passing the stand, then past the winning post, and out for a complete circuit of the track with the road map. A good four lengths clear into fence number three. So they all sailed over nicely. And the road map it is Cabo Valdano. Is a clear second. A gap of a couple of lengths then back to the rest of them are virtually all in a line. Vinny Gerard Scottsdale Lady closest to us as they get to the fourth. Which they're all safe here again. And Crisp has been relegated to last at this point. So they make their way down towards the next fence with the road map clear over the fifth. Scottsdale Lady is now second. And Phoenix Flames is third. Savage God on the outside is fourth. And then Cabo Valdamo, who's just dropped back a little bit alongside Chris. What is a crashing fall there for Scottsdale Lady? Scottsdale Lady crashes out at the sixth. They're already over the seventh where Cabo Valdamo wasn't foot perfect. So they've only got two more to take then now. And the road map is clear by four. To Chris, who's now moved back into second. Then comes Savage Garden, Cabo Valdano and Phoenix Flames virtually all together. They're all driven up to, alongside Crisp now, but the road map is still clear, but only by about two lengths to Crisp, Cabo Valdano and Phoenix Flames. Over the second, that's they go, and the lead and jump that one really well. So too did Phoenix Flames over the final fence, they go. They've got a very long run in now, and it's the road map on this near side from Phoenix Flames over on the far side. Crisp is going to try and come between the two of them. Savage Garden is wide on the track, Cabo Valdano just a back marker. They're inside the final two furlongs in there, no more fences to take, it's all on the flat and it's Phoenix Flames up the centre of the track who's just nosing ahead of the road map Crisp is beginning to close, so to his Savage Garden on the wide outside, Cabo Valdama work to do inside the final furlong and now Phoenix Flames is being challenged by Savage Garden and Savage Garden comes to take it up then in the shadow of the post and Savage Garden is going to take it from Phoenix Flames and Crisp on the road map and Cabo Valdamo was fifth and Led nowhere but on the line in Savage Garden. There's another one of Gray's favourite bands, I wonder. Savage Garden takes it for Graham Clutterbuck. Phoenix Flames of Paul Rhodes is second. Chris for David Hooley third. The road map for Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Cabo Valdamo for Darren Thompson. What's fifth?